Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining what is meant by an ideal load. Ideal load will always be present in case of an ideal machine in which the friction is absent. So, I will write the definition here. So, it is defined as the load which we can lift or the frictional resistance which we can overcome in case of an ideal machine. So, ideal load would always be present in an ideal machine. Next, it is denoted by W suffix I and since in case of ideal machines, Friction is absent, so compared to an actual machine, we can lift huge or more amount of weight in an ideal machine. So, ideal load value would always be greater than the actual load. Whereas, when we talk about effort, in case of ideal machine, the effort which we are applying, that is ideal effort would be less compared to the actual effort because some amount of effort is lost in friction in case of actual machine and we can clearly see that ideal effort is less whereas the ideal load which we want to lift increases due to the absence of friction. So, here I will write down that since efficiency is given by output upon input ratio, output is W into X, input is P into Y. So, efficiency becomes here W upon P in the denominator we have y, x would be shifted into its denominator. So, w by p is ma whereas y upon x is vr velocity ratio. So, therefore, efficiency is mechanical advantage upon velocity ratio and now since it is an ideal machine. In that case, the efficiency is 100% and in the number form, it would be 1. So, therefore, I can write down efficiency is 1. Therefore, MA is equal to VR. So, this would be the result that is MA equal to VR whenever we have an ideal machine. Now, MA mechanical advantage is given by W upon P. Since we want ideal load which is denoted by W suffix I, so I would be adding a suffix I to this load. So basically what we mean here is W suffix I would become P into VR wherein this P is the actual effort whereas W suffix i is the ideal load and whenever we have an ideal machine in that case the ideal load which we can lift is considerably greater than the load which we can lift in a machine in a machine which is not ideal that is actual machine so comparatively ideal machine would be lifting huge amount of load due to the absence of friction at the end, if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.